Well, folks, I'd like you now to meet Greg Schulte, who is president of Bonfiglioli Hydraulics. Welcome to Construction News Tracker and our live stream here from the uh, show, Con Expo 2014. You've Thank got you. a pretty significant presence at this show. We do have a pretty good, sig good and uh, significant presence. We've got a lot of new products that we're uh, launching out uh, into the, uh, the marketplace, and, and we're pretty happy with the response that we've gotten so far at the show this week. Well, give our, give our viewers an idea what you're bringing online to, you know, first time in the line of hydraulics. In the line of hydraulics and, and gear products that we produce, we're launching off a, uh, a new series of large gear boxes for the mining applications. Uh, we've also got some electro mobility application or gear boxes that we're bringing, integrating electric along with uh, gearing, and we're also uh, launching some innovative uh, integration packages along with the, uh, the hydraulics as well. Well, it's very interesting. I know for a fact that uh, you have been in a company expansion system here with uh, your Hebron expansion, but yet, uh, interestingly enough, my note says you're not adding any square footage. No, we basically, uh, we, we've got a very nice 80,000 square foot facility in, in Hebron, Kentucky, and uh, rather than starting to expand in square footage, we decided to, uh, to take it upon ourselves and really look at lean manufacturing, embrace the, uh, uh, the square footage that we have, and focus on working within that, that range and, and taking the talent that we've got and, and really making it worthwhile from a capital expenditure standpoint. Now, from that standpoint, you're also incorporating manual production into automation or vice versa. Correct. So how do you go about doing that? That's got to be kind of difficult. Yeah, it, it, it's a little bit difficult. We've got a lot of good process engineers both in, in our uh, manufacturing center in Italy and also in the United States. And uh, this product has been in production now between six and seven years okay. in Italy and on a uh, completely automated assembly line. And what we're doing is, is we're bringing that to the United States, taking a lot of the good you know, automation side of it, but then also integrating manual where we can in order to give some flexibility and, and uh, really look at the lean aspect of it to, to focus on how to do sure. it better, faster, leaner. So in effect, you are expanding the line, you're expanding your personnel, but you aren't expanding your footprint. Correct. We're not. You've, you've we're, discovered a way to do that in the four walls. I, exactly. That's and that, interesting. And that's the main thing. So I have to ask you, bringing more jobs to Kentucky. We'll have uh, by the, between uh, 2014 and 2015, we'll be adding about another 30 uh, positions within our 80 right. positions that we already have there. So we're creating American jobs and, and really trying to bring manufacturing back to the United States again. Well, that's important. That's important for everybody in the United States. And of course, for those looking for jobs and for people like you who are, you know, building it in America. Growing, Very exactly. Good.